Okay, hello everybody and welcome to tonight's Section 5 matchup between the Hornell Lady Raiders and the visiting Lady Mustangs of Dansville. I'm Bob Pleischer, broadcasting from the Maple City Dodge broadcast booth. Dansville comes in at 1 and 2. Hornell, 2 and 1, and here we go. Welcome those watching on Facebook Live. Sorry for JV problems we had. Hopefully we won't get kicked off again here. If we do, just stay around. Hopefully we'll get it back set up since I'm a one-man operation trying to run a computer and stuff. It's a little difficult, but stolen away. Beautiful job that time by Rittenhouse. Grace Rittenhouse with the spin and two. Great anticipation by Grace. Again, sloppy. Cornell not playing right. Dyrene upset, as you can tell. You got to keep coming back toward the ball, he's saying. And no one boxes out that time as Bailey Harnish for two. Up front, Abby over to Kuhn, and Kuhn puts it in. So fast and furious here, the way to start a game. Cornell goes Harkenreiter, Austin, LaPierre, Kuhn on the court. Be a foul underneath. Senior Bailey Harness, she's a senior captain for Dansville to the line. Misses her first. She's got a unique kind of shot style, no good on the second. Rebounded by Hornell. Austin, the senior point guard, number one for Hornell. Gets it over to Kuhn, just inside the three-point line, but she'll take it. All knotted up here at four on the John and Dagan scoreboard. Again, those on Facebook, let us know where you're watching from. Glad to bring it to you here. Oh, and we lost it. No, we're still alive, I think. Hope we're still alive. Thought we lost it for a second. If we lose it again, I don't know what to do, so. Great drive inside, foul. Again, for a second there, it looked like we lost you on Facebook, so it may happen again. I apologize if it does, but. Score is six to six. No, eight to six. Nice shot. Eight to eight. Inside, look, beautiful job. Yep, it's gonna be a foul on Harnish. First quarter action here at eight to eight. Away. 
Austin tries to get it up there, no good. Rebounded and fouled. Oh, we're going to call timeout. Timeout. 30 second timeout. Of course, today's game is brought to you by John Dagan, general and trial practice since 1989. Call 324 6690. Get your cans and bottles in the Main Street Redemption Center. Open seven days a week, nine to six Monday through Friday, and nine to three Saturday and Sunday. Tim Roselle and Bill Poulos at Poulos and Roselle. Main Street and Hornell, call 324-7333. Of course, Wyand Chiropractic, Dr. John Wine and Dr. Joseph McKay at Wyand Chiropractic. Call 324-7246. Of course, Cornell Erie Federal Credit Union. Stop it and see Marty Piccolo at Cornell Erie Federal Credit Union. Keegan Manchester. Oh! Matt Congdon into the game for Cornell. Stolen away. Fed up front. Austin, count it. Beautiful job, Abby, Abigail Austin. Defense by Hornell. It's Kuhn and Abby Austin picks her up. And going to be a foul on the shot as Abby reaches in and grabs her. Again, we'll welcome those on Facebook Live. If we happen to lose you, I apologize. We've been having trouble all day here and night. So far, so good. Ooh, and this is the first one. Second one's up and good. Ball's gonna be dribbled out of bounds. Kick the shot and foul underneath on Dansville. And that's going to be her second if that's Harnish. Yeah, they're going to bring in um, Skylar Race for Harnish. Abby Austin, kick out. Nice hustle that time as Hornell swings it. Austin for three. Oh, just can't be corralled that time underneath by Kuhn. You never pick up your dribble unless you know where you're going with it. I'm all about passing 100% anyways, but that time she was dribbling with her head down, stopped with the ball, thought she was going to have someone to pass it to, and nobody home. Oh 
Shot outside, no good. Rebounded. Finally by LaPierre. She was our featured player on today's program here, available in the gymnasium as well as online with her picture and profile. Only a junior too, so. People diving. Pierre, I hope she's gonna be all right. She's coming off injured. I think she was more stunned than anything. The way she rolled up there. Actually, the score is nine to ten to nine here in favor of Hornell. <laughs> Ties the game up. Side. Freeland for three. It counted. Chelsea Freeland. So used to, used to yelling the name out Chase because we've done twice as many boys games this year. It's good to see Chelsea get in there and oh, you got to put it when you steal the ball. Well, just good job. Who is that underneath that time? Number three, Emily Kuhn gets fouled. Can have a 30 second timeout. Let's go see who's in the stands. So, what's going on? There's something going on here. Okay, so. <laughs> uh, 30, my fault, I screwed that one up. Okay, so I'll go back over there. There's no, no, no. some people. There's the Freelands. Maybe she's watching Facebook. Maybe not, she looks like she's texting. Todd. Smith. There's my announcer for boys games. I should have had him do the girls game. Yeah, I was going to say, I don't know why you don't have to well, time out. You don't have to shoot first. So I was kind of confused what the official was talking about there. Still 13 to 11 on the John N. Dagan scoreboard. Jaden Scotty misses the first one. Second one's good. There was a violation on red, but. The shot was good anyways. Swing, flat shot that time. Diving on the ball, good job. It's gonna be a white ball with the jump. Hey, run UConn here, UConn. 
Call as you can by Coach Dyrene. Chelsea gets herself caught in traffic that time. Nice shot. Ties the ball game. Harnish. That wasn't Harnish, was it? It was uh, Rittenhouse. There was that Jackie Bel Belginger. It's nine, or actually 20 seconds left here, not nine. My scoreboard's off, apologize. Good defense that time by Hornell. Nice take that time. Jump ball. So we'll put five seconds back on the clock. Oops. Long three, no good. So that's gonna take us to the end of the first. 14 to 13, Hornell on top. Don't forget to stop at Marino's. Open six days a week except Sunday. 11.30 in the morning they open up for lunches and open until 10 and the bars open until one. Of course, yum frozen yogurt across from the high school here. Stop over and check out their 12 different flavors. It's all self-serve so you don't have to wait, have anyone wait on you. Of course, airtightofnewyork.com, spray foam insulation, commercial and residential, old and new construction. It's right here in Hornell, too. So, Remax Hometown Choice, 117 Main Street in Hornell. Call Martha Marino and Reggie Gambino, 697 3629. Connors and Ferris, your workers' comp attorneys, proud supporters of the Bills, the Sabres, and your Hornell Red Raiders. Don't forget to stop up Maple City Dodge. The 2018s are here. Test drive one today. Maple City Dodge. Of course, North Nagel Realtors, my brother North Nagel, if you're in Rochester and in the whole area, is now Howard Hanna. Call Rhonda Wilsey. Today, Howard Hanna and Rhonda Wilsey. <laughs> Cornell on the scramble offense, looks like everyone's running around. Oh, and there's a blocking foul. There's Abby. Goes flying. <laughs> the foul on number 22, Hannah LaPlante. She wasn't uh, very good on that either. She went to the ground. I guess everyone's all right. The kick. Scotty for three! to 16. Cornell on top. Shot no good. Good fight for it that time.
Syracuse. Someone's supposed to screen through and nobody did that time. It's finally Harkin Ryder got open, Day. Oh, missed an open shot. Those are gimmies. Fighting for it, Austin comes up with it. To the basket! And she goes flying, the ball goes flying. Abby to the line. Two shots for Austin. 5.46 left here before half. First one's good. Take a quick timeout, 30 seconds. John and Dagan, general trial practice, wills, estates, divorce, you name it, criminal and trial. Since 1989, 324 Get your cans and bottles. Open seven days a week at Main Street Redemption, 286 Main Street in Hornell. Nine to six, Monday through Friday, nine to three, Saturday and Sunday. Poulos and Roselle, attorneys at law. Call 324-7333. Poulos and Roselle. Wyand Kyle Practic. Dr. John Wyand, Dr. Joseph McKay at Wyand Kyle Practic, 20 Park Drive in Ornell. Call 324-7246. Wyand Kyle Practic. Cornell Area Federal Credit Union, serving the Southern Tiers since nine, for over 50 years and protection for you for over 50 years. Stop and see Marty Piccolo, Hornell Erie Federal Credit Union. Take out a loan. When you think your options are limited, they're not. Hornell Erie Federal Credit Union has been around here for a number of years. Got my first car loan from there when I was like 18. It's open to anybody, you don't have to be working for the railroad or anything. So want to start a nice savings account for your kid? Or an Erie Fredo Credit Union can help. Stolen away. One on one. Oh, two on one. I'm sorry, I didn't see her cutting across. Makes things a little more interesting. 20 to 18 now. Here in the second. Scotty. To back out, Austin. Scotty fakes the three, drives it in, and it's gonna. Ooh, that was out of bounds. Oh, that ball, that ball was definitely out of bounds, and they're gonna count that. That ball hit the back of the backboard somehow. It wasn't even the backboard; it was the uh, metal piece. I don't know how that happened. It was blocked. So all knotted up here at 20. Not anymore. Travel, hmm. I guess she got it broken free. And they're gonna call that a travel because she was able to get the ball away. I've seen quick calls on that and and short calls, but that one not so sure of. That's a good job by Julia. Day. Nice to have her size in there. Freeland with a fake. Let it go out of bounds. I think Freeland should have taken that. Stop and pop, that was a good decision, but then she, well, wasn't a good decision after that fact. She gave it up, but. Right 
Long. Don't get caught in traffic and another travel. Thirty second timeout. If you haven't joined us before, this is the last season of the gym as you know it. It's about time they redid the banner situation. Some of these banners are old. You can't see them. They're facing the opposite way. They're just crammed in here. But they're going to put new flooring in, new seating, scoreboards, everything. It'll be nice when it's all said and done. This is the original setup that they've had since 1964 when they opened it. School. They're going to start once basketball season's over because they did redo the B gym, which opened in '76, the Francis Die Hogan B gym. It was dedicated to, probably a lot of people didn't know that, it was nominated after one of our mayors and the father of the current mayor. actually being built when I was in first or second grade, first and second grade. I remember getting in trouble because we weren't supposed to walk near the construction site, but that's the only way I could get home. I went home and there was a phone call from the Mrs. Peterson, the principal, wanted me to come in and talk. I come to school, she's dragging me by the ear, and you could do that, and I was like, how am I supposed to get home? That's the only way to get home. You're supposed to cross the street. But anyways move ahead 30 years, or 40 years. <laughs> so it'll be nice to have the new facilities. 21-20, Danesville on top. Stolen away by Kuhn. Over to Scotty, the far side there. Bam! Ah, Freeland. Good defense that time by Hornell. No crazy fouls, Abby. Two hands up. Just two hands up. Oh, and she cans it. <laughs> nice shot. Well, that time, number three, Caitlin Everman. Dang. On the inside. Shots missed. Rebound, Austin. To the hoop. Score it. She was not to be denied. 26-24 Hornell. Austin came into the game with a team leading 45 points. Nothing there. Good rebound and a fight underneath. It's gonna be a jump ball. Six twenty-four on the John and Dagan scoreboard. Underneath, couldn't hit it that time. Coming down it with his Matt Condon. Working the ball around Kuhn, the kick. Austin drives the crossover. 
Gets her own rebound, good job, and then it's gonna be fouled underneath there by the Dansville player. Fouls on number 12, Madison Akers. Oh, lazy pass that time. Intercepted by LaPlante. LaPlante and a wild pass. It was gonna be tipped by a Hornell player. It didn't look, yeah, I was gonna say it didn't look like it was gonna be tipped. It didn't look like it was tipped, so Hornell will take over. There we go. Chelsea, Scotty, no good. Twenty six twenty four. Good game here. Dansville Hornell stolen away. Up front. Austin. Oh. Still gonna be Hornell's possession. Twenty seconds left here. Austin with the left. Freeland. The little turnaround, no good. Gets her own rebound, way to fight for it, Chels. Ooh, and there's a foul, no call. The kick to Scotty. The swing, Congdon, Freeland. Nothing there. Down the other end, no good. And that's gonna take us to the end of the... Oh, we have a foul. With no time left on the clock. So it is going to be halftime. <laughs> I think they're, yeah, the clock was buzzing. So someone's not going to be happy there. I think it was Dansville. So that's going to take us to halftime. Let me put half on the screen there. About 10 minutes on the clock. I think I'll set my clock to 10 minutes and start it. So you know how much time we have for the half. So if you want to go get a slice of pizza, maybe warm you up some, up some hot cocoa, since it's like zero degrees up here in New York, not the place to be. And we'll play some of the things there. And I'm gonna take a little break so you're not gonna hear any sound for a while. Okay, welcome back. It's gonna be Hornell's ball on the inbounds. With a two point lead here. Nice little drive, Congdon. Good job, Mac. One of my favorite basketball names. And Congdon getting over there again. Matt Congdon, the senior. Shot, no good. Rebound underneath the harness. Tied up, oh! Almost the WWE move. <laughs> Shot clock is not working. On one side, anyways. 
Nice shot, Austin. Abigail, Austin. Nice drive, Gabby LaPierre. Hope she's all right. She's bleeding. So we're gonna stop everything. I have to reset my clock anyways. So 6.20, and there we go with the shot. It's 32.24. So we'll give you some ads. People that allow me to bring this to you, Main Street Redemption Center. Open seven days a week, nine to six, Monday through Friday, nine to three, Saturday and Sunday. 286 Main Street, where the old Radio Shack used to be at Main Street. Poulos and Roselle, attorneys at law, Tim Roselle, Bill Poulos. Crossroads Professional Building across from Burger King and Hornell. Call 324-7333. Of course, Dr. John Wine and Dr. Joseph McKay, Wine and Kyle Practic. Just yesterday picked up their son Jake from Mercyhurst. He's home for Christmas break. Hornell Erie Federal Credit Union protection for you for over 50 years. Stop in and see Marty Piccolo, Hornell Erie Federal Credit Union. Watch 34 slide it into the post. Check out their loans and get out a loan for a car or a home improvement loan. Good shot! Block. Blocked by Congdon! She's all over the place here today. Leading score at halftime for Hornell was Abby Austin. She had seven. And Rittenhouse for Dansville also had seven. That's it. <sighs> Jump ball. Stays here. Hey, in between somebody. Nothing over the top here. Be a stay. Four seconds on the shot clock. Stolen away. Harkenrider. Austin, back to Harkenrider. Count it. Good passing, ladies. Sometimes it could be one too many passes, but that worked out perfect. Inside, good shot for Harnish. Down quickly. Harkenrider for three. Coming back your corner. Get out, get out. 37 26 on the John and Dagan scoreboard. Swinging the ball. Shot from the far side. No good is Rittenhouse. Harkin Ryder comes back to her on the tip. Off the glass and good. Shot no good. Two shots no good. The speed of Austin to the basket. Oh, the giveaway that time to Matt Cogden, Matt couldn't make it count for the left hand, but good try anyways. The spin! Rittenhouse is gonna get fouled. Thirty-nine twenty-six. Hornell with a thirteen-point lead. First one's up and good.
foul is going to be on Emily Kuhn. Coach Dyring. Making sure Mark Stoner is doing what he's supposed to be. <laughs> Just grazes the front of the rim that time. Shot by Bailey Parblosson. Parblosson. Next one's up and good. Congdon. LaPierre! Oh, in and out. <laughs> kind of a wild shot that time. Put on by Skylar Race. Passes. Hornell's got to do a little better press break than that. That was just not very good. Hornell was kind of standing still there. And Abby Austin has it. Crossover. The inside move, no good. Good job by Abby. Just couldn't get a handle on it. Number 22, Hannah LaPlante. Why? Don't tip the ball. That's the worst thing you can do as a player. I hate when they do that. Go with two hands or none at all. Harkin Ryder. Body foul. Nice little box out that time. Harkenrider couldn't get it to fall. But good little play on the inbounds for Horn Hells at Dansville. Stymied that time. Good defense by, oh, but nothing you could do about that. That was a great defense by LaPierre, La but. LaPierre to the basket. <laughs> good attempt, just not a good finish. Two hands up, Gabby. Get in front of her, Gabby. There we go, Austin across court. That was where Austin should have taken it herself. That was not a good decision by Austin. Austin was giving up a sure layup there to, to 
kick it out. I'm not sure what she was thinking there, but. Harkin Ryder on the far side. See, that's what, that's what Abby should have done and count it. exactly what Abby should have done the first, last play down the court. You, you're one on one and you got the defensive player back stepping. You know what you gotta do, take it right to the hole that time. And uh, that's exactly what Harkin Ryder did. Harkin Ryder, only the 10th grader, so that just shows you we got two more years and the rest of this year with Harkey. Old fashioned three pointer. Here's the ball, girls. The managers. Swinging the ball around. Got Scotty on the defense there. That's it. Good defense that time. Jump ball. It's a way to get the hands up there. Looks like Julia Day in on the action. Kicks it out. Nice pick by Good there. It's a good job, Chelsea, that time. that time. Had the ball tipped away and then locked up. Nice block, Scotty. Wants to see what's going on here. Matt Congdon says, hey, Give it to me. Yep, they're gonna call a foul. Oh my goodness, Matt Congdon! She'll take the foul. Wow. We still have five seconds. What a great play that time. Still have five seconds left on the clock. Ooh, in and out for Congdon. Checking in for Hornell is Riley Gregory for Austin. No good. Rebound. Nothing. Gregory, oh! Uh, Gregory could have had it, uh, but lost it at the last second. <laughs> She's all smiles. She was like, what, look what I found. Marino's open tonight, serving dinner till 10 p.m. And of course the bar is open till one. Stopping at Marino's 110 Loader Street in Hornell. 
Yum. Of course, they're open till 10 right across the street from the Hornell High School. Yum Frozen Yogurt. Yum Froyo. I thought that was a, a Greek name. <laughs> Froyo. And I was like, what's Froyo stand for? They go Frozen Yogurt. Duh. Of course, airtightofnewyork.com right here in Hornell. Spray foam insulation, commercial and residential. New and old construction, 368. 40, I forgot the, the last four numbers there, I'm sorry. Remax Hometown Choice. Office is at 117 Main Street. Call 697-3629. Call Martha Marino or Reggie Gambino. Connors and Ferris, thanks for your support. And, of course, Maple City Dodge, 2018's in. Maple City Dodge Chrysler Jeep. So we're down to the fourth quarter, 45-30, Hornell in command here. It's white ball. Oh, just a lazy, what's going on there? And it's still gonna be Hornell's ball, but what was that? That was not a good inbounds. You gotta keep coming back toward the ball, ladies. Don't expect the ball to come to you. And that was just good defense that time by Parblossen. Par Stolen away, Dansville. A wild shot that time, number 22, LaPlante. Jeez, it's round and round we go. Don't forget, tomorrow night we're going to be live from Dansville as Hornell boys play. It's also a night that's... going to bring two communities together. Mrs. Rosica. She lived in Dansville and was Hornell's counselor for years, passed away of cancer a few weeks ago. Her son goes to Dansville High School, so the game obviously is secondary. But you can watch all the action and the dedication ceremonies. And I know they're doing fundraisers. They were raising money here today for it. It's been all over social media. Classy lady and well loved here in the Hornell community as well as the Dansville community. So it's tomorrow night on Pice Sports Facebook Live and be careful no one gets hurt. I did not personally know Mrs. Rosica. I have met her and, and doing what I do with uh, Pice Sports and what her involvement was with sports. She went to every Steal that ball from behind. A lot of different sporting events she could be seen at. Chelsea Freeland kicks it back out. Who's on this side? Is Congen. Congen underneath the day. Freeland. The little raindrop. Only a 10th grader, too, so her between her and Harkenreiter, and Scotty, oh, Hornell is going to have riches amongst the point guard position and the guard position next, next two years. And, and Scotty's only a 9th grader. Oh. So... There's Scotty right there. A little off that shot, but kind of rushed it. And uh, actually, you're looking right now on the court, besides Abby Austin, two 10th graders and a 9th grader and an 8th grader, Julia Day, the center there for Hornell, who's 5'10 right now, is only in 9th grade. 
I got the chills. <laughs> this is going to be exciting for the next couple years watching the guard play here as well as Julia Day involved. And you never know who else is coming up too. The JV Hornell team is very well stacked. I mean, you bring Desi Mount into the mix probably next year. You got Viv and Jane, James Petunic. Ayla Pry. I mean, you just got... I can see uh, state championship. <laughs> uh. yep, they, I don't know why I, re, I don't know why my shot clock was different than theirs, but I officially in high school yesterday doing the wrestling match. They used my scoreboard to correct the school scoreboard because they did not run the clock. Day inside gets it blocked. So they actually went to the video replay yesterday for wrestling. And it, it was basically a minute difference in the, my scoreboard and, and mine was correct. The turnaround, Austin. This time she takes it to the hoop and it counts. Forty-nine, thirty-two. Inside look, Day with the steal. Let it go. Oh, they're gonna let it stay with Danzel that time. Julia, she's gotta learn and she will learn just to keep the ball up. Ooh, a little, could I make carry a nice little shot that time. Number 22, Hannah LaPlante for Dansville. A little fight on the ground. Kale's standing or sitting next to me doing it on the radio, WLEA, for those in their cars and not at their computers. Little turnaround, nice shot that time. I think it was number 30, Jackie Belchinger. Harkenreiter, three, two. They're going to give her only a two that time. In fact, uh, Pat McHale and I were talking at halftime. Really silent Harkenreiter in the first half, you know. And he asked me if something was wrong with her, you know, maybe injury-wise and stuff. I said, I don't know. She was out there, and she has come alive here in the second. Inside look today. That's a beautiful move, Julia. Good job. And I love it. She did not wait. The second she got that ball, she knew what she was going to do with it. She was going to go right up with it and gets the foul. Great job, Julia. And like I said, only the ninth grader. Only a ninth grader. I mean, you don't want to go past this year. I mean, you look like I said, we got... Uh, Two tenth graders out there right now, a ninth, an eighth grader. Or no, Julie's, what did I say Julie was? Julie's a ninth grader, yep. Scotty's an eighth grader, she's not out there right now, but. trouble with the shot clock, but like I said, these will all be replaced this year with new stuff.
Here's a nice little pass. Freeland a day and day's gonna get called with steps. Uh, I could see that coming. Freeland, great pass. Day will learn that. What are you gonna do? I think she was so surprised. I'm not surprised. You always gotta expect the ball, but. Thanks for being with us on Pi Sports Live, Facebook Live. And like I said, our next broadcast will be tomorrow, ending a four day live streak here. We start out with Tuesday with Girls Action versus Pen Yan. Oh, then we had swim meet and a wrestling match yesterday, and now finishing up with the girls tonight. I'm sorry, we didn't have a swim meet, we had a swim meet Saturday. <laughs> So we had two girls games, a wrestling match, and boys basketball again tomorrow night as Varsity and JV's face at Dansville. So this one, 51-36, good inside look, Harnish puts that one away. And that was Bel Belging, I'm sorry, I keep going, Harnish. I just look at the, th I see the three on the back of her shirt and I forgot there's two number 30s. Oh. Inside look, the turnaround, no good, Belchinger. Oh, Abby, the kick, Harkenreiter, no good. Dansville, gonna empty the bench. Good job, Lady Mustangs. Harkin Ryder, the kick. Matt Congdon, the dish underneath. Gregory! The hook, the shot, it's good. 11th grader, Riley Gregory. Matt Congdon looks up, Harkenreiter. Uncontested. Five thirty-eight. Under a minute left here. <laughs> Abby Austin sub timeout. That's a good thing they just allow, you know, I mean, I guess the opposing coach could take the time if she wanted to, but no sense in it really. Freeland! She's had one heck of a game today. That's her 10th point. She had five at the break. That was a three, and I think she also had a two. Gonna let the shot, the clock run down. Gregory. Be careful your passes. Oh, that's all right. No fouls. Oh, I foul. <sighs> with four seconds left. Again, I'm Bob Poysher, broadcasting from the Maple City Dodge Broadcast booth. Thanks for being with us again tomorrow night. Action from Dansville, JV and Varsity.
boys basketball. I'm not sure if it's a 5.30 or 6 o'clock start. I don't have that in front of me, but tune in. I'll have it posted. And that's going to do it. That's the final. Oh, no, Lady Raiders go to 3-1. and one. Dansville falls to 1-3. and three. Again, I'm Bob Peicher. Thanks for being with us. Another Peich Sports presentation.